Good evening, UAE. Good evening and welcome. Welcome to the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015. I'm Mohan Kapoor and I'm your host for this UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest. But before I start asking the questions, you may have one of your own. Who are the country's smartest kids? Well, good question. I'll be trying to find the answer to that very question in this fifth season of UAE's most definitive inter-school quiz contest. Welcome. Welcome to the first episode of the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015. Well, three teams are standing by ready to fight for the illustrious Star Quiz Challenge rolling trophy. Come, together, let's meet them and find out who they are. My first team, Asian International School Ruades. Welcome. Please give us your introductions. My name is Mangagiri Nandini Raghava, grade 9. My name is Nehal Kumar from grade 8. Wonderful. I've been given to believe that you all have been preparing for this quiz contest for the past five months. Yes. All the very best. Thank you. The next school, the Winchester School, Dubai. Please give us your introduction. My name is Rachel Anna Marshall and I'm from Year 9. And I'm Abhinav Nair, also from Year 9. Rachel, I've been given to believe that you are into high jump, track and field, basketball and debating. Yes. Okay. And you're here to quiz for UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest. Is there anything you can't do? Other languages like Arabic, French, all right, but not Arabic. All the very best. And the third, but not the least, gems our own English high school girls, Dubai. Welcome to the show. Please give us your introduction. My name is Krishna Ramesh Nair and I'm from grade 9. My name is Melvin Mariam Skaria and I'm from grade 9. Both of you are into public speaking and you, Krishna, I believe you play the guitar and Melvin, you play the keyboard. Any chances you're going to be starting a band soon? Hopefully. Yep. Yeah. Feeling confident? Yes. So am I. Thank you all for making it here. Congratulations and all the very best. We have five nail-biting rounds to come and our first round is all about being quick on your feet in this general knowledge round which is brought to you by Malabar Chef which is Rapid Fire. Rules for round one, Rapid Fire. Six direct questions per team. In case you're not sure of the answer, Say pass and we'll come back to the question if time permits. Five points for a correct answer, no negative points, 45 seconds to answer all questions. First round, rapid fire with Asian International School Ruiz. Your first question in the rapid fire round, Team A. In fiction, whose friends were Mary Legs and Ginger? Question two, how many points are a blank Scrabble tile worth if it is placed on triple score square? Five. Question three. In 2014, which comic book hero was shot dead? Five. Five. Question four. What is repeated edition more commonly known as? Five. Question five. In Greek mythology, who was the leader of the gods? Zeus. Absolutely right, Zeus. Question six, the last one for you. The term cornea is associated with which part of the body? Eye. 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 And that is absolutely right. Two answers you've got there. Well done. Moving on to Team B, the Winchester School Dubai. Are you ready for rapid fire? Yes. Yeah. Six questions, 45 seconds. Say pass if you don't know. We'll come back to it. Team B, question one. The narrator of which popular novel is a cabin boy named Ishmael? Pass. Question two. Which popular mathematical puzzle earned the nickname the Hungarian Horror? Pass. Pass. Question three. Who is Dennis the Menace's neighbor whom Dennis often gets into trouble with? Pass. Question four. What is the smallest negative integer? Pass. Pass. Question five. Who is the Norse god of war? Thor. Four is absolutely right. Well done. Last question for you. Carmine is a shade of which color? Brown. Brown, I'm afraid, is incorrect. Time up. I'm sorry. Okay, Team C gems our own international high school girls, Dubai. Are we ready? Rapid fire, six questions. Coming up for you. Question one. For how many years did Washington Irving's hero Rip Van Winkle sleep? 20. Absolutely right. Question two. If in a regular pack we add two Joker cards, how many cards will we get in total? 54. 54 is right. Question three. In Laurel and Hardy comics, what is Hardy's first name? Thomas. 
Thomas is incorrect. Question four. Since 1948, what symbol other than a point is used as a decimal mark? Papa. Question five. The head of Egyptian deity Anubis resembles the head of which animal? Jacob. Absolutely right. Question six. Who invented the first working television system in 1925? John Logie Bell. Absolutely right. Well done, Jen. Seems like you've taken the lead in the round one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this round that has been brought to you by Skyline University College is called Scategories. So, are we ready? Now, let me tell you the rules. You have a look and you pay attention. Rules for round two, categories. We will start with the lowest scoring team. Each team gets to choose only one category out of six. Ten points for a correct answer. If the team does not know the answer, then the question passes on to the next team for ten points. Ten seconds to answer a direct question, five seconds to answer a past question. Here, at the end of the first round, our lowest scoring team was the Winchester School, Dubai. So the Winchester School, Dubai, are you ready? Yes. All right. The six categories for you are travel, invention, films, sport, awards, and chemistry. What category do you choose? Travel. travel. Your question in travel for the round's categories. In which European city would you find Italian painter Leonardo da Vinci's original portrait of Mona Lisa? Paris. Paris, I'm giving it to you. Absolutely right, at the Louvre. Ten points to you. The second lowest scoring team was the Asian International School Rouets. Since travel has been taken up, I offer you the following categories. Five in total. Choose one. Invention, films, sport, awards, chemistry. What is your choice? Sports. Sport. Your question for sports is as follows. How many players are there in each side of an international beach volleyball match? Four. Four is incorrect. Passing on to GEMS, our own English high school girls, Dubai. Seven. Seven is incorrect. Winchester School, Dubai, time to win five points. Six. Six is also incorrect, I'm sorry. The international beach volleyball, two players per side. Gems our own English high school girls Dubai, since you're the highest scoring team and since you're the last team left to answer, you get four categories to choose from. Travel has been taken up, sport has been taken up. So what we're left with for you is invention, films, awards, chemistry. Invention. Inventions, interesting. In which town did the Wright brothers fly the first engine-powered airplane in December 1903? Hampshire. Hampshire? I'm afraid that's incorrect. Asian International School Ruiz. Kitty Hawk. Hawk. Kitty Hawk is absolutely right. Well done. Ten points to you. Wow. Well, things are getting hot in here. I need to cool down and let them gather their wits about them. I'll see you on the other side of this break. But till then, you stay tuned. This is UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest, the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015. Welcome back to the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015. Now, the word crystal is derived from the ancient Greek word krustalos, which also means ice. Now, our teams are gonna have to be as cool as ice and battle their nerves for a chance to win the Star Quiz Challenge rolling trophy. Yes, as we enter the final three make or break rounds. Right, up next, we have Starcade, which is brought to you by our sponsor, Max. Rules for round three, Starcade. Each team gets an assigned question, which is a series of clues on a thing, a place, personality, event, monument, or animal. The first clue is the Max clue, worth 20 points. If the team misses or answers incorrectly, they get a second clue, worth 10 points. If the team still misses or passes, they get a third clue worth five points. Questions do not pass in this round. Right? Clear? Excited? But before
before we do, let's give out the scores that have totaled as of now. With a tie for the second position, we have Asian International School Rueys and the Winchester School Dubai with 15 points each. Well done. <laughs> but you'll need to buck up, okay? So leading the pack right now, Gems, our own English High School Girls Dubai. Y'all are leading with a total tally of 25 points. Well done. <laughs> Keep it up and increase the points. Starcade, we'll begin with the Asian International School Rueys. Are you ready for Starcade? Yes. Well done. Your first clue. This Manchester United player, at the age of nine, joined the academy of the club he supported, Everton. David Beckham. David Beckham? No, that's incorrect. Your second clue. He is the present captain of the English football team. Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney is right for 10 points, Leo. You managed that well. Good on you, good on you. Moving on to Winchester School. Are you ready? Yes. yes. All right, clue one. 20 points. This structure, fondly known by the locals as the coat hanger, because of its arch based design. Is it the Eiffel Tower? That's incorrect. I'll give you a second clue. In 1815, Francis Greenway proposed the building of a bridge from the northern to the southern shore of the harbour for 10 points. Us. Okay. Third clue for five points. This is going to be a picture clue. I'll show you the picture and I hope and pray that you get it. Maybe have the picture for them now. I need the name of this structure. The Winchester School Dubai. Don't lose hope. Still some rounds. Go. Okay. Gems, are you ready? All right. Your Starcade, clue number one, for 20 points. It is the name of a long-distance passenger luxury train service created in 1883. No. Clue two, for 10 points. Its name appears as part of the title of an Agatha Christie mystery. Orient Express. You sure? Yeah. I don't know if you're sure or not. I'm sure you're right. <laughs> well done. Ten points. You got that right on the second clue. Well done. Well done, Gems. Our own English high school. That was very impressive. But now, let's test some of your other faculties in our penultimate round. The audiovisual round that is brought to you by Signal. Rules for round four, audiovisual round. You will either be shown a picture or hear an audio clip, followed by a question. A total of three questions, one question per team. The question will pass on if the first team does not know the answer or gets it wrong. Ten points and ten seconds for a direct question, five points and five seconds for a passed on question. No negative marks. Clear? All right. The Asian International School Rueys. For you, I present an audio clip. After you hear it, I will ask you the question. Asian International School Rueys, you heard the sound. Now, this is your question. Identify the insect from this sound clip. Cricket. Sorry? Cricket. Cricket is absolutely right. Well done. Well done. Well done. Winchester School, Dubai. For you, I have a visual. Let's have the visual. And your question is, identify the cricketer. And your 10 seconds are up. Moves to Gems, our own English high school girls, Dubai. Identify the cricketer. Pass. Pass. Okay. Yes, Asian International School, who is? Philip, Philip Hughes. Philip Hughes is absolutely right. Well done. <laughs> Gems, our own English high school girls, Dubai. You too get a visual clue. Take a look and then wait for my question. 
Right. In 10 seconds, for 10 points, answer me this. What is the common name of this famous African tree? Baba tree. Absolutely right. Well done, girls. Well done. They had 10 seconds. They managed it in one and a half, I guess. Good on you. 10 points. Well done. Well, after four rounds in this brain wrestle, our teams have started to show their mettle. But there can only be one winner, and it could all hinge on stamina. Stay with us as it comes down to the wire on the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015, right here on Star Plus, the pulse of South Asians in the Middle East. Don't go away. Quiz Challenge 2015. You're here with us with just one round left to go. The buzzing sound made by the common bee comes from the noise of the wind vibrating as its wings beat the air in flight. Now, our teams are hoping not to beat air, but each other. And this could be the make or break round at the buzzer. Rules for round five at the buzzer. The team that hits the buzzer first gets to answer. The question will not be completed if the buzzer is hit while it's being read. The team hitting the buzzer must answer within five seconds of hitting the buzzer. Ten points for a correct answer, minus five points for an incorrect answer or no answer after hitting the buzzer. Boys and girls, hands at the buzzer. Get ready. Question number one. When was the domain name .ae first introduced in UAE? 2000 or 1992? Next question. Question two, besides yachting, which other sport is the main attraction of the Dubai Creek Resort? Golf. Golf is absolutely right, well done. Third question, A4, A3, A2 are different sizes of what? Yes, gems. Paper. Paper is absolutely right. Well done. Fourth question, Andean and Californian are the two types of which bird? Condor or eagle? Andean and Californian are the two types of which bird? Condor or eagle? Question five. The name of which gemstone comes from a Greek word meaning green gem? Emerald. Emerald is absolutely right. Well done, ancient international school rules. Last question. The autobiography of which singer is titled Miles to Go? The autobiography of which singer is titled Miles to Go? And that's time. I'm sorry, you all didn't get that. And that's it. The questions are over. I'm going to put the scores together. So let's see how these teams have stacked up so far. Well, I'm ready with the scores. Let me tell you, it's close. Tonight, we're going to get a winner for ourselves who shall move forward. Let's give them their scores and see how they feel about it. At second runner-up position, we have... The Winchester School Dubai with 25 points. That's not bad, but not good enough. It was a pleasure meeting you and all the very best for the next. All right? In the first runner-up position, with a great comeback, we have the Asian International School Rues, who started slow, but have bucked up and come to a total tally of 50 points. Well done. You just lag five points behind our winners for today. Gems, our own English high school girls, Dubai. 55 points. Well done. While you started with a grand score of 25 and had this huge head start, our team, A Asian International School of Ways, you did very well for yourself with a grand score of 50. You just like behind my five points. Well done. Thank you so much for being a part of our show and the fifth season. We hope to see you again and again. All the very best. Thank you so much. And here's to you, Gems, our own English high school girls, Dubai. Well done. As I hand out the Star Knowledge Crystal to each of our contestants, remember our five H's. Head home with heads held high. <laughs> what a display of wit. These students sprinted through and made it look easy. But I wonder if 
sustain you this fun fact. Did you know that UAE is home to the largest number of date palm trees anywhere on the planet? That's right. In 2009, the country took out the world record with 42 million trees. Wow. I wish I could get that many dates. So tune in next week for three new schools, tons of more questions, and of course, all in the country's most prestigious inter-school quiz competition, the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015. Until next week, stay smart. Thank <laughs> you.